talking about O-rings, O-rings in facilities maintenance. Uh, you'll find in several applications from water filter, uh, canisters, uh, if you repair your forklift or hydraulic line, uh, rebuilding a pump, uh, etc. So here's an image of a typical big blue uh, canister style water filter. Uh, you can see this actually has two O-rings, one on top and then one on the side. Um, some terminology. Um, you can see in the picture on the right, you're looking at an O-ring boss and then O-ring face on the bottom. You can see the difference where the O-ring is set into the face of that hydraulic fitting. Whereas an O-ring boss, when we're talking about that, the O-ring is it mates up against a boss. Um, there's different types of seals and you know different materials. Um, sometimes the color code does not always uh, line up with what the O-ring is made out of. Uh, so, for example, pretty it's pretty common that you know a black O-ring is going to be one N, you know, nitrile. White ones are Teflon, but that's not a hard and fast rule. Sometimes O-rings will also have little dots of color on the side to designate what that material is. So whenever you replace O-rings or order new ones, you always want to make sure you're ordering the proper material and, of course, the proper size O-ring. So standard O-ring sizes in the United States are defined by standard AS568B. Um, this document was published by the Society of Automotive Engineers, also known as SAE. Um, it lists the sizes of O-rings in six series of groups uh, in both inches and millimeters. The first five series are based on cross-sectional diameter. The sixth series includes 20 sizes for boss seals. Um, the standard sizes are also used for military specifications. So again, talking about O-ring boss, a boss seal is an O-ring used for sealing a straight threaded tube fitting onto a boss. A boss is a cylindrical projection on a casting or forging. The end of that projection is machined to provide a flat, smooth surface for sealing. Straight threads used with an O-ring provide a better seal than taper threads used alone. So taper threads would be like uh, NPT or National Pipe Threads have a slight taper to them, for example. Uh, and then usually O-rings are identified by a dash size or dash numbers. And there are 20 sizes of boss seals. Uh, metric O-rings. Uh, metric sizes for O-rings are defined by uh, ISO 3601. Dash one, uh, 2002, uh, fluid power systems, O-rings, part one, inside diameters, cross sections, tolerances, and side identification code. That standard group, uh, that standard group's metric sizes into two series, series G and series A. Uh, the G series is used for general purpose applications and includes a wide range of inside diameters. The A series is used for aerospace applications where tighter tolerances are recommended or required. The G series has 445 sizes and the A series has 383 sizes. So when we talk about O-rings, they come in different materials and then there's different characteristics that each of those materials has. Uh, some materials are more abrasion resistant, some materials are more heat tolerant, uh, some materials are compatible with some chemicals while not at all compatible with other chemicals. So here again it's important to make sure you're ordering the proper o-ring that's made out of the proper material to be compatible with whatever fluid those o-rings may be coming in contact with or temperature etc. You can see this chart here shows uh, properties uh, from poor to fair to good to excellent um, for each of the materials listed on the left-hand column.
And then the way you measure an O-ring, sort of the standard universal way, is you measure the inside diameter and the cross section, which is basically the, the thickness of the O-ring. Um, there are some tools to help you measure your old O-ring. So if you have an O-ring that you want to replace, you can get an O-ring size selection chart like you see here on the left and literally just put your O-ring down and line it up till you find the exact match. In the center there's what they call an O-ring gauge and that expands in and out uh, for larger O-rings. It'll also measure the cross section to tell you what the, the thickness of the O-ring is. And on the far right is what they call an O-ring sizing cone. So you slim, uh, excuse me, simply slide your O-ring down on the cone and then where it stops, that closest number is, is the inner diameter of that O-ring. And that sizing cone, if you look around the base, also has slots where you can determine what the, the cross section or the, the thickness of your O-ring is. And these you can buy just about anywhere, Amazon, eBay, um, Parker Hydraulics, Granger, McMaster Car, etc. Um, so again, when we're talking about O-rings, generally it's it's gone goes by dash number, and this chart kind of shows, you know, if you have a dash number two five six, you look down, and if your cross section is an eighth of an inch, then you can look down there and see. For example, you find two five six on the chart, which is towards the bottom of the screen, and that tells you the inner diameter is five and three quarter inches. But if your cross section is 3 16 so it's much larger than an eighth of an inch, then that would not be a dash 256 O ring. It would be a dash 359 O ring. So again, it's all about the inner diameter and the cross section, or you know, the thickness of the O ring. So here we're going to be replacing some old O-rings on a big blue water filter canister and they make picks that are specially designed for picking an O-ring out of, uh, of a, like a water filter canister like this. And this one also has an O-ring on the side. They're both the same um, size. You can see you can hook your, your, your O-ring pick through there to help you pull it out. That's the old, what the O-ring pick looks like. And anytime you install new O-rings, you want to put some O-ring sealant or o-ring uh, lube on it, uh, silicone based. This is coming in contact with with uh, potable water of course, so that silicone needs to be compatible with potable water or food. And again, it, it creates for a better seal, uh, helps when you go to spin this filter canister back onto the filter head. I have that silicone, uh, basically it's like a lubricant, acts like a lubricant on the o-ring. I hope this information helps. Please like, share, subscribe, uh, leave me a comment for future video topics you'd like me to cover.